How's everyone feeling today? I don't know, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling perfect. I have no, no surprise that this place is filled. It's been like this for the last 10 years. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Brad Muller, proud to be the radio voice of South Carolina women's basketball the last 17 years. And in case you missed it last night, South Carolina won its third national championship. <laughs> Let's bring them on out, and then we'll brag on them for a little bit. Let's meet your players first. Number zero, senior guard, Tahina Pow Pow. Number two, sophomore forward, Ashlyn Watkins. Number five, freshman guard, Tessa Johnson. Number 10, senior center, Camilla Cardoso. Number 12, freshman guard, Malaysia Fulwiley. Number 15, freshman center, Adele Tack. Number 20, junior forward, Sanaya Fagan. Number 21, Sophomore forward, Chloe Kitts. Number 23, junior guard, Bree Hall. Number 25, sophomore guard, Raven Johnson. Number 35, senior center, Sakima Walker. Your coaching staff, assistant coaches, Khadija Sessions, Mary Woolley, Winston Gandy, Jolette Law, Lisa Boyer, and your head coach, Don Staley. Well, again, in case you missed it, South Carolina became just the 10th team and the fifth program to go undefeated and win the national championship. They passed every test, perfection. They won in Paris. They won in places like Durham and Chapel Hill. They won in places you may have never heard of, like Uncasville, Connecticut. They won in hostile environments like Baton Rouge. They ran the table in the SEC for the second straight year. This was a team in every sense of the word. The bench was just as important as the starters all season long. They sacrificed personal accolades and attention to put the team first, but they all made a difference. And this is how it's supposed to be. This is what a team looks like. This team put the we ahead of the me, and look where they are, they're perfect. The university has a marketing campaign with the tagline, Behold the Remarkable We. Well, this team fits that pretty well. Behold this remarkable we. I said it last night and I'll say it again, perfection wears garnet and black. And now it's my pleasure to introduce someone who knows a little bit about winning some championships, Athletics Director Ray Tanner. Thank you, Brad. Welcome to Colonial Life Arena, home of the 2024 National Champions. <laughs> Two out of the last three years, and if not for COVID, it would be another one, we all know that. I want to congratulate you and say thank you for all your passion, your enthusiasm, the energy that you bring to this building. We got a fantastic group of young women who play basketball, a great coaching staff, the head coach of all time, but they appreciate what you bring when you come in this building because it's a never, ever lose when you're here. So thank you very much for being a part of that. And I appreciate all of you 
who dried out from being in the Thomas Cooper fountain last night. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great picture. It is my honor to introduce three in a row National Coach of the Year, a national champion, 38 and 0, the greatest of all time, the GOAT, our head coach, Dawn Staley. It is, uh, it is an, it's an incredible honor, honor to come back to this, to come back to you. We, we, hope, we hope your watch parties were a success, let's say. <laughs> um, it's, it's so cool to come back to a place in which um, we've had so much success. Colonial Life Arena um, and the way that you support our women's basketball team and men's basketball team because it was pretty special up in this place. And we don't lose very many, very many times in this place because of the environment that you all create. Um, and the fact that our president, President Amaritas, and our board members chose to, 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 to close class for today means <laughs> means they take they take winning and success very very seriously um, we hope that this is an annual day off. <laughs> um, but I, I just have to give it up to our players who made a commitment to each other. To, to, to probably do something that, that was totally different than any other team that I coached. They held each other accountable um, they encourage each other. Uh, what you saw them be able to do, like all of them, each and every one of them took their turn in making an impact on any given night for our team to be successful. And they did it in a way in which they lifted up each other. And that is truly, truly an organic, an organic chemistry that you couldn't pay real money to produce. Um, I'll say this, sometimes we often don't know why. I thought the team that we filled um, last year would have brought home a national championship. It didn't happen. Half of the players on this team felt that loss and they vowed they vowed to bring it on home. And sometimes they had a little swag about it. Sometimes they had a, a confidence about them. Sometimes it, would, it was a little bit too much for us to take because we didn't know what was, going, what was going to happen on the floor. And it happened last night when these players were talking and they used some choice words and we give them their space. We're in the coach's locker room and they're saying, we're going to do this to them. We're going to do that to them. We're going to do this to them. We're going to do that to them. Right? <laughs> Meanwhile, the coaches are in the locker room, and we're like, either we're going to get blown out, or we're going to blow them out. <laughs> and I would say for the, for the first three minutes of the game, we got blown out. But the 37 other minutes? Yeah. 
This team, this team would not be denied this year. I am incredibly proud of them, incredibly proud of them for all they've given. They sacrificed and won every single game. And let me give a shout out to our highlighters. Step forward, fellas. Step forward. These, is our, these are our practice players. And I gotta give them a huge shout out because they're the only team that beat us this year. Anyway, before I, before I give the mic to someone else, I just wanna shout out our staff, um, our coaches, our trainer, our performance coach, our, our, our everything, our media person, our ticketing, every single person that had an impact um, in the success of our team. And this, this every, every year doesn't end this way, but it doesn't diminish the work that they put in for us to have a year like this. But it's always pretty special when you can end the year on a high note like we, like we have and give credit where credit is due. Um, and then lastly, only by the grace of God that this happens. So thank you very much. Before we go, I think Raven had something to say. The Revenge Tour is over, and now it's time for the Repeat Tour. Thank you.